Welcome to Stuff Reacts. We are going to react to another episode of Craig Smith Podcast, Craig's Facts. But before we go, we are going to listen to our daily facts of the day. Did you know that the world's first animated feature film was made in Argentina? I did not know that, but now you do. So let's go. Craig Fax is back on the scene with all death. Welcome to Craig Fax on caffeine. If I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God! Hey, I got some special guests today. I want to introduce somebody that's very near and dear to me. When I first started comedy, he was already going. We used to be in. I want to let you guys know that if there's anything that I have to pause or uh, remove from the video, I will because of monetization and copyright infringements. So please be aware. I will do that, okay? Let's get back to the video. The trenches together, grinding, working on jokes at Marty's. I didn't see him run up on dudes way bigger than him and intimidate him a bunch of different times. That's a fact. Get real spit. He is a <laughs> man. <laughs> man. <laughs> One of the most talented people I've ever met, man. Welcome, Justin Hires. My man. What's going on, Justin? Ain't nothing proud of you, Craig, man. Man, thank you, bro. I seen bro. Craig humble beginners. And I didn't know he was a roaster. So not, so not every time I look at him, I'm like, he got evil thoughts going on in his head <laughs> that, that I have no clue about. Yeah, yeah. He's, spa he's sparing all of us. Y'all realize that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, shout out to you, bro. Continue doing your thing, man. Man, and I appreciate you. You've come a long way as well, man. I'm I'm proud to watch your journey, man. I can't wait to work with you on the big screen one day. Hey, man, I've been on several TV shows that have gotten canceled. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you were on one that they no, brought. No, you know he was on the Mag MacGyver, right? MacGyver. Reboot. We just yeah. got syndicated, so I'm... Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, that's yeah. that real brand. Yeah, 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 I'm doing all right. All man, right. what them checks look like? They look good. <laughs> <laughs> they look real good. Hilarious, man. Good. Man, that is, that is dope, man. So... What have you learned? What's been the biggest thing you could teach somebody following in your footsteps trying to become an actor and remain a, a, a decent, sound, logical individual like yourself? Um, no one likes an asshole. Um, Likeability is key. If people don't like you, they don't want to work with you. In this business. Facts, he's speaking facts. You can be. You can be the smartest guy on a job and you can get all your work done and everything but if you don't have an awesome attitude if you are rude to your co-workers nobody is, wanna f is gonna want to mess with you bro it's like you need to have a positive attitude man you, you gotta have a, you don't have to be friends but you 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 have to have respect for other people you know but i do agree with that it's all about relationships. So you may have gotten that job, but if you're an asshole to everybody on that job, when that job ends, uh, when you try to get another job, it's gonna be difficult. Because right. they're gonna be like, well, you don't wanna work with that person because he's an asshole. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and learn your lines. Right. And show, <laughs> you know, learn your lines and show up on time. That's the other stuff. Right, there we go, yeah, man. man. So that's what I learned, save your money. Man, because it don't last forever, right? That's a fact. And invest in money. Man, real spit. Buy something, a Pizza Hut, a 7-Eleven, a, a farm, something that can generate some money. Well, that's true. I tell people, I tell everybody this. I got real estate. You know what I'm saying? I invested in a multifamily property. So now, like, I don't have to do any bullshit that I don't want to do. Right, You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even me, be, I'm here because I want to be here because I mess with you. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, that's real talk, though. So you got rental income coming in from the property. Yeah, see, everybody, like, dread the first of the month. I look forward to the first of the month. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm getting checks. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, You're a real landlord. You show up to the door with a sword for your check. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm going to knife you. But yeah, so I got, 10, I got 10 units. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Where at? Atlanta and Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida. You, you take Section 8? I do take Section 8. Oh, I'm going to at you. Yeah, because <laughs> the, 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 the government checks are always on time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. That's dope, man. And next to him is one of my favorites, man. 
I want y'all to give it up for my boy G Wayne, man. G Wayne, what you working on, big bro? Tell the people what you got in the pipeline. Man, I'm working on uh, this thing with Black on TV called My LA Hustle. Craig actually plays my dad. I'm actually older than Craig. Yeah, he, this man is 12 years older than me. I'm playing. <laughs> 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 I'm 43, Craig. It's great, man. And anybody that grew up in the hood, you could relate to this. It has a real nostalgic quality. How did you come up with the idea for LA Hood Stories? Man, really just telling my story, my, my wish. Right. Basically, I, I didn't go to a, a public school. I went to like a Christian school. A lot of people think, oh, he went to no school. That was some punk shit, but it wasn't. Right, right, so right. I was trying to cover in some of the public schools. You know what I'm saying? I went to Bird, fucking Watson. Oh, you went to Bird, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah that's, that's a central app right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's a prison Catholic right. school. Right. Right. You gotta have a record to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Your daddy gotta be on crack. <laughs> but the greatest basketball player in the history of the state of California with the verb. What are you talking about? Raymond Lewis. Raymond Lewis? Greatest ball player ever. A lot of y'all never heard of him. He, he had 70-point halves where he didn't miss a shot. Uh -huh. We're talking about in the early 70s with no three-point line, all jumpers. All jumpers, man. Raymond Lewis. Raymond Lewis, man. Look, look up Ray Lou. He's, he was like, he was drafted 18th to the 76ers in the 75, 75 draft or 74 draft. And he got blackballed because in camp, uh, he, that, that same year, Doug Collins was the number one pick. He was the 18th pick. And he outplayed Doug Collins in camp. He averaged like 40 points a game in the camp, was embarrassing him. And he didn't understand contracts, so he wanted to renegotiate his own contract without an agent. Because they gave him a deal that was 50K a year, and it wasn't guaranteed. He had to play to get that 50K. If he didn't get the 50K, he would get less. But Doug Collins got a guaranteed million. So he went to the owner and was like, hey, man, I clearly outplayed Doug. I need a different contract. And the owner was like, no, you already signed. And he was like, well, if you don't change my contract, I'm walking out of camp. And he walked out of camp. Damn. Damn. And he in the NBA, he was like, oh, Damn. Yeah, did that. Damn. Anyway, I didn't mean to talk about Ray, Ray Lou. So um, you said, you said uh, LA Hood Stories is going to be on Black Oak. When, when, when is it going to drop? Um, should we film it? Probably we film it right now. We're supposed to film it today, but we have to do this. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to be in the table. Who was my line? <laughs> I, I don't even know my lines, my bad. You never do. What are you talking about? The one ain't my Yeah, yeah, just that. You know, you the one ain't my He ain't my whole script. That's the way you get the hit with You sneeze the hailstorm on your line. You don't get your fat ass out of here. No, man, I can't wait to finish filming that, man. I got that. I got uh, something called Dream where I'm playing. Uh, Father, I'm, I'm oh. passing out with something different. Really? Okay. You know, yeah, it's something different. I'm a different type of whole character now. I'm drunk, you know. I'm, I don't even drink, but I was right. all in that. Well, as a little man, how do you get women to respect you? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I mean. Man. <laughs> Put your hand on the table, man. I got, can we can we watch, can we cut on this? Oh yeah, we can cut. Oh, yeah, man. I got strippers coming on in a second. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, see, excited. I got big dick energy, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, we got we got swag. Y'all get wide, y'all get like. Oh, wide. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm saying, you know, I'm saying? we always shocked and they're like, damn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, yeah. the the dick to body proportion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. Besides, no, I do feel like I need a booster seat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm short as hell. <laughs> y'all know why little niggas? Y'all know why little niggas don't wear shorts, right? Right. Because right. right. yeah. they like chihuahuas. You can see their balls from the back. Asshole. I'm joking with you, man. <laughs> Y'all already know the cast and crew. Give it up for the Craig Fast crew, man. To yeah. Talk to him, Dewan. Yeah, Introduce yourself, big bro. Uh, yeah, Dewan Brown, Dewan B. Yeah, you know, I, I get down on Craig Facts. Salute to y'all. Mm. It's your man, Sonny, in the evening. Professional loiterer. Don't worry about me. I'm on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to the I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Todd, man. Uncle Todd Comedy. Uncle Todd. Mm -hmm. right. What's up? It's Snaps. You know, Snaptastic Pin. Catch me on Craig Facts, doing the tree talk and all that. You think you write all the time? Well, I write I more. I write more. Yeah. 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 Battle recap. Huh. 
Kings uh, versus Queens. Kings oh, versus yeah. Queens. Let's do it. What y'all think? What y'all think of the battle, G? Uh, it was fire. I think it was fire. You know what I mean? Uh, Charlie Clips caught a body. You know what I mean? He I think did? He, yeah, he caught a you body. You better take your fat ass away from me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. I heard you been talking shit, Charlie. You better like me because I'm on your head, nigga. Yeah. I'm ready for all you battle rap niggas. This roast is different, man. No, I love y'all. Charlie's a monster, one of the best to ever do it. Much love and respect, man. Absolutely. Yeah, but it was good, man. What I mean, did he body? He body uh, Yoshi. Yeah, really? She, yeah, she got some history where they say she had a ghostwriter. Uh, but uh, it didn't, it, he, she should have brought all of them to the battle because it was, it was bad. Every, really? Every, it was bad, bad. Like, it was bad. You was it, did it look like abuse up there? Uh, it was terrible. A couple of them. I mean, they even had a couple. The first battle was a couple. They actually are together. And they battled the first battle and got it in. You know what I mean? It was they crazy. battled each other? They yeah, battled each other. Each other. <laughs> yeah, the first That's battle. Boy. So a couple of battle each other in a rap battle. Like, yeah. 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 Against each other. Against, against each other. other. And they got to go home together. Yeah. Yes. Right. Like yeah, Ashford and Simpson having a fight. <laughs> Did he whoop her ass? He lost. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he lost. The dude lost to his, to his girl? He lost. Girl. That's about keeping peace at home, though. Nah. Uh, what's the name, though, too? Averb got smoked. Averb. 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 What's going on with you, Averb? You changed your name so many times. You VZ now. Get it together, man. You probably need to bring Averb back. Eat some meat, bro. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Shout out, to the, shout out to the battle, though. That was some prolific stuff. I never seen, you know, nothing like that. So that was dope that they did it. Yeah. You know shout what I'm out saying? to Geechee Gotti and Jazz the Rapper. That battle was and this is Craig Fax Clips, man. So we're going we gonna to react to some clips, man. So, somebody said hey. introduce... Uh... Oh, I almost forgot. The star of the show. Yeah. <laughs> the of the show. I'm sneaking in. The, the North Star to our freedom. Yes. <laughs> Paris. Paris. Hi, everybody. Paris. Thank you for having me. Yeah. 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 Paris is one of the most talented people I've ever met. She is a, she's a world-renowned dancer. I and am. I'm not talking about the naughty kind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about she can really dance. So tell them a little bit about yourself, Paris. Um, dancer from L.A., South L.A., Lamert Park. Hey. Um, and I'm on my toes. I mean, I spend my days training my body and uh, doing ballet. Ballet. It's ballet. And I'm here bringing yeah. the... The art. The art. It's the a art. very... It's a, a feng shui is vibe, like the... The energy flows through her. When you watch her dance, it's like it makes you want to get up and do some shit that you know. That's what makes you want to do a couple of days. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, Chris. She's an inspiration. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got some. I got hip movement. My hips all right. Yeah, you're uh, little right. Hip movement. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't even working on that. We're going to get into this first clip, man. Woman crashes her car trying to smash another chick's car during an argument at a gas station. Okay. Hit it! Mm. Right. Trying to get back at a woman that she probably barely knows. Have you ever been angry enough to destroy your own property? No, what I've been angry enough to destroy my own hand. What, 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 I was so mad I punched the wall. I would never let myself get to a point where I'm so angry that I could jeopardize my future and end up in prison. I am not going to do that i'm not going to allow somebody to let me reach at a point where i'm that angry you know my future my life is really really important and i don't think anyone would would i don't i wouldn't allow anyone to take that away from me Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, the two short niggas. Two short niggas. I guess it's true, man. We got some confidence. They're crying, doing the doing the boys in the hood punches to the wall. I'm like, man. I'm gonna hit the wall. Wow. So, what got you that angry, G? A woman for me. Exactly. You said a woman. <laughs> Fuck really? that bitch. Well, yeah, you gotta that or You caught her with a so. you caught her with a bigger nigga? No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> 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 hey, wait, why are you doing the Oompa Loompa water? <laughs> 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 you know, <I'm> <laughs> So, so no, what? Okay. That's hilarious. I called her Ryan, bro. I was a credit card, and I was, I was hey, one of them on my credit because I was going to buy some. And she ran up the credit cards, and she was lying to me about what she was getting these gifts from. 
I'm like, where the fuck you get that from? How you buying that? Because I know what you make. I know you don't got the money to get it. She was telling me her stripper homegirl was buying it for So you go ahead. I was a stripper homegirl. So, real talk, y'all ain't never punched the wall? Oh, hell yeah. I punched the wall. You have. I haven't punched I punched the TV, bro. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. Cool. I was about to say, you broke a laptop. Bad. You broke a laptop. Y'all ain't never punched that. I, I flipped my own shit and had to pick it up later. Okay. <laughs> so you went in the tail and flipped your own shit. That's nasty. Okay. Wow. So, so I wasn't going to let him just let Listen. Yeah. What happened when you destroyed your own property? I had to pay for it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I punched the hole in the door. I had to buy a new door. That's why I stopped doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah lesson yeah, learned. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to pay for this shit? Let me, let me stop du- doing this. Du- Duwan, what happened when you destroyed your own property? I, I broke the company laptop. Oh, you did it at work? Yeah, why? I was at home. Oh. I was, it was oh. a work from home. I destroyed the company laptop because I was frustrated over something. And then I told the job that one of the kids did it. Oh. Oh. I remember the kids. I was like, I was on the ball. Hey. One of the kids had a little outburst, and you know what happened. Somebody went to the break room and ate your lunch. Fuck <laughs> 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 this job! Fuck this job! Fuck this job! The disrespect. <laughs> Ferris, you ever destroy your own property? Uh, you ever been mad enough to destroy your own she property? She destroyed that, somebody else's property. For sure. Oh. No, I have been mad. I mean, I, I get it. You know, and it's like everything. Sanity goes out the window. Right. So I'm like, fuck this car, whatever. Right. And, but I never went to this gas station. No? I know. I oh. never went that far. But I've been close. I've, I've, I've been close. Just road rage, you know. Oh, yeah. We've all been there. We've We're all done LA. this out the window. <laughs> yeah. What you got for us, Sonny? You ever been mad enough to destroy your own property? No, but somehow I have upset someone enough to destroy my property. Well, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A young lady I was dealing with drove her truck through my gate at the house. Oh, wow. I broke into my house and she stole all my pants. Yeah. 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 Oh, your pants? Your pants? Your pants? <laughs> she was wearing them? Oh, <laughs> I bought these. They must got two dicks. They ain't got my glitter jeans. <laughs> what did she say? She took my apple bottom, Joe. I mean, <laughs> and the booze oh, with the fur? She, she told you, I thought you was wearing the Jabari brother. You buy Darion. Yeah. Oh, that's funny as hell. No, Don't no, be telling these women you were the Jabari brother, man. Don't do that again. Hey, I let them assume what they're going to assume. That's funny. It's Todd. Yeah. You ever been mad enough to break something that wasn't a board during a karate demonstration? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I used to have like I used to have like this the desk with all my little uh, uh, high eight VHS tapes on there. You know, so you record. You know, you record all yeah. So you know, I got to have that on there, and I got into a little argument with the woman with my wife, and then you know, tried to do the oh bad shit yeah. in the other room, and ended up flipping my own shit up. Oh. Oh, <laughs> She's like, you flipped it. Now what? So, oh, that's yeah, crazy. That's like that. Yeah, Snaps, talk about it. What happened? Why'd you break the TV? Oh, man, mine was terrible, man. It's like, gee, man, it was over a woman. But I got too frustrated. I, it takes a lot to get me mad, man. I, and just like uh, Paris said, I, I, I blacked out, man. I hit the TV. But the most fucked up part about it was I tore four ligaments in my hand. Ooh. Damn. I, I can to. still see it. You still got a scar, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh. I had surgery. I was out for a year. I had to relearn how to use my hand. It took oh, a year. Oh, wow. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Oh, that's TV. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a cost. Hey, you, you, still, you still with that chick? Nah. Oh, okay. Right. I, I, I was about to say something real disrespectful. Yeah. I was about, about to say, you must have seen her fucking another nigga on the TV. Oh. <laughs> That's some cold shit, man. <laughs> All right, this next clip we got. This video shows driver crashing into a school bus full of kids. He was wrecked. I, I used to own a truck, right? Mm. And I was coming, I was coming downhill, and I was curving, and and my truck wasn't loaded right. So as I was curving, this is this is May 13, 2014. I'm coming around the curve. It was the windiest day of the year. I'm coming around so fast that my trailer wheel picks up off the ground. And the wind catches under the the wheel, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm so as I'm coming out the curve, I put my blinker on. I'm unaware that my trailer is tipping. So when I put my blinker on, I'm so oblivious that the truck is tipping over. I think when I put my blinker on, that uh, because the truck started to fall in, in the direction of the blinker, I think, mm-hmm. oh damn, this is a strong ass blinker. And then I know, then I start to figure out, oh, oh this shit God. is falling. 
And it's the only time in my life that I accepted dying. Mm. Because I'm in a diesel, I'm in a big ass diesel truck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm and, and, and I didn't have my seatbelt on or nothing. So as I'm falling over, I hit the uh I hit the ground and my head keeps hitting the window, but the, the window doesn't break. Ooh. And I slide like fifty feet. Wow. And then when the truck stop start stops sliding, I'm standing on the, the driver door. And I'm trying to get out the truck, I'm trying to kick the windshield open because I think this bitch is about to blow up, you know? Yeah. And the fucked up thing is every time I opened the door, it was so heavy, it slammed right back <laughs> on my face. Oh, yeah. So I'm in the truck for like, probably like three or four minutes. It felt like an hour, kicking the window, trying to get out. And finally somebody pulls over on the freeway, gets out, holds the door so I can get out. And then we just both started running. Damn, did it explode? It didn't explode because it was a natural gas truck. Mm. That's what saved me. It, it ran on corn oil. If it had been gasoline or diesel, I probably wouldn't be here. That's Damn, that's wild, bro. Reckless that's driving is a mo. You ever, you ever been a no. victim of reckless driving? Anybody? Um, my brother. <laughs> Your brother. My brother, man. My brother? He was going through a breakup, woman. It's always about a woman, money <laughs> or, or women. He was going through a breakup. It was like ride with me. I was like, it was my car, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, ride with me. Yeah, ride, car. yeah, ride, ride with me. I was like, I don't really want to go. Yeah. You know, it was like, do it, nigga. I was like, all right, because he the big brother, so I was, yeah, I was yeah. forced to do it. So we just swerving all through the city. We the same people. He swerving. And I'm like, God, please don't let me die in this car, right? Swerving, swerving. We make it all the way back to his crib. This nigga run into a tree. Oh. Oh. And like, I'm thinking, literally 20 minute drive, wow. I'm thinking we about to hit one of these cars. We don't hit no cars, no poles, no nothing. Yeah. We pull up back in his yard, he hit the tree. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. 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 He was like, fuck it. Yeah, he got too comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Right. He was very disrespectful. You shouldn't drive angry. Yeah. You know, because there's so many decisions you have to make as a driver. A lot of people don't know, your brain can only make so many conscious, informed decisions a day before it starts to suffer from decision-making fatigue. That's why niggas cheat. That's why you niggas know. Okay, before he said cheat, I did agree with, um, with Patrick, I mean with uh, Craig, that you shouldn't drive angry because you have to focus on the road. Because if you're angry, it's going to mess up with you. You're not going to be able to focus where you need to go and stuff like that. But um, that's what you have to say about cheating. But that's how they drive. But when I was in New York, that's how, like, that's the regular driving. Right. They drive crazy. Yeah. So I was in the backseat praying. But they're swerving, and it's just natural. They're very, like, yeah. one-handed, just sipping coffee, whatever, and, shoom, shoom, you know. It's Cursing crazy. out the window. Mm. Yeah, that's cheating right. isn't decision-making fatigue. That's, that's uh, humanity. <laughs> 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 Ladies, we love more so we can love you better. That's what that's about. That's not <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I am a happily married man. I <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's only cheating if she got a social security number. Like, I got a whole family in the Dominican Republic. Oh. <laughs> I send a woman $40 a month. She asked for 20 but I send her 40 I'm a, I'm a god. Hey, man, you a good man. I'm a god in Punta Contra. Hey, I <laughs> what shit city is with my kids live? Are they getting our reactions when the video is playing, or do the people at home only see the video? They see everything we see. They see both? Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Anybody been a victim of reckless driving, or have you ever gotten into an accident driving reckless? Well, when I was in the Air Force, man, uh, me and my boy said in Ohio, we went down the backside, which is like where the, uh, the runway is at. So there's no lights, there's no nothing. And we turned our lights out and was racing in the pitch black. Why can't you do this? Yeah, yeah, we were turning. <laughs> no, what happened was he took his glasses off. <laughs> 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 it was dark to me. It was dark to me, damn it. It was dark to me, damn it. He put, he, he put his headband over his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let go. And, and, so the, and so the cops pulled my friend over on this side. So I'm driving this one. So I'm like, all right, they got me about to pull him over. It's over. He's still playing. So he turns his car like this so that we all have to pull over. And so they pull us over in front of the Air Force base. Like, y'all in the Air Force? Like, yeah, like, all right, man, don't do that shit no more. So we got a little slap on the hand, but we were yeah. reckless with our driving. Ooh, oh, man. wow. Yeah. Turn your lights off. <laughs> Turn your lights on, man. Don't do that shit no more. The story yeah. started out so interesting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like your, ja it's like right. your jacket. This uh, next incomplete. 
<laughs> this next clip is a gift from God oh. himself. He, I hey, pray. Okay. He sent this to me in a, in a prayer. This is. We <laughs> 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 got a league in the ATL of, of women playing basketball. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. I can't turn it off. <laughs> This is incredible. Uh -oh. Paris. <laughs> Hold on, we got we got we have a we have an elegant, beautiful woman. Now what was shown was um buns and basketball. That is something that I couldn't share with you guys, but you can search it up on Instagram. But um my thoughts on that is these ladies don't have respect for themselves. That's why a lot of men don't respect women today because of the way they carry themselves, you know? So that is just ghetto and ratchet, in my opinion. Woman here who's very classy. If the, if any of these women were your daughter, have you failed them? <laughs> have I failed them? Uh, no, I don't want to throw shade to people. If they want to play basketball in a thong, let them play basketball in a thong. Don't play They're guys. having fun, uh, and it's their choice. They're adult women. Right. right. Um, I wouldn't want my daughter doing it, but uh, kudos to them. I mean, she did make the shot. Right, 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 right. right, right. She, <laughs> she did make the shot. She did make the shot. The bucket was good. Was so <laughs> yeah. Justin Hires. Yeah, man. Daughter, 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 invites, you daughter, daughter invites you. Daughter invites you. I got a game, Dad. <laughs> 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 you show up to the game, you bring nine co-workers with you. <laughs> nine co-workers. <laughs> you show up to the game. You don't know it's basketball. <laughs> you thought it was basketball. As a father, and you don't have to speak on it for, for your daughter, but I'm saying if you were, if, figuratively, if you had a daughter mm -hmm. and she was in this league, mm -hmm. what kind of talk would you have with her? Oh. Uh, what kind of talk would I have with <laughs> her? <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to think of like what's the it's like how you go from like being a supportive father to I bust ass. And then I would feel I would feel like a failure of a father if she was doing that. But shout out to all the women. We need, yeah. see this is this is why I'm saying all fathers don't need to be in their children's lives. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't be seeing this. Right. So I, I implore a lot of men to just stay away from your daughters. You know what I'm saying? So we can enjoy. So we can have fun. We can have fun. So we can change and get a, a decent price on pussies. Decent <laughs> <Thank> price <laughs> on pussies. Yeah, I've never paid for vagina, but not, not directly. Okay. Okay, we've all done like movies and right. shit and dinner and stuff. Yeah. yeah. All men have been customers. Technically, if you pay for a Netflix subscription, That's you pay for yeah. pussies. Yeah, monthly. Y'all yeah, ain't think about that. Yeah. Monthly, monthly Netflix. You got a monthly heavy. pussy bill. <laughs> <laughs> All women have a value. All women have a value. And it takes a very conscious woman to understand what her value is. How can a woman assess her value? How can a woman look at her life and say, okay, this is what I should be getting for my time? Um, well, self-awareness is hard for people to... Like, except, like, people, not everybody's self aware, first of all. Mm -hmm. Right. So, how will we start? We, I'm trying to think, like, picture like a hard headed person and how they would take it in. I don't know if you could do this. Right. Well, it has nothing to do with how, to me, as a man, I assess women on how they carry themselves. You know what I mean? That's, that, that's, I don't really care how much a woman makes or what she has in her bank account. If she can carry herself the right way and she's a compliment to what I'm doing, then that's valuable to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How do you guys assess value? How she carries herself. You know, she, she determines her value by where she places herself. Because if you're a woman, you got attention off top. You really don't need to do nothing extra. So if you start doing all these extra, look at me, look at me, I'm asking myself, okay, what, you, what am I looking at now? You know what I mean? So it's That's one of the true. things. You got to assess, assess a, a woman's value off of what she put it. Right. So right. it starts with the woman. Yeah, for where sure. she puts it is where I'm, I'm going to put it. That's true. That's okay. I agree. You playing basketball with your ass out, I'm be like, yeah, yeah. what is she balling though? <laughs> <laughs> like tri triple doubles and getting to the playoffs. Yeah, you didn't see her stand this, up. Then she gonna have to post me up to make to make you know. <laughs> yeah. that, that Look, is, ladies, that is your most valuable possession is your forklift license 
Be quiet while your man is talking. <laughs> 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 Fort Lamp license. <laughs> what should it be? I mean, really, if you want to keep it 100, I, your, value, your most valuable possession as a human is you. That's it. Right? But if you're the type of person that always assesses your value based on what you have and don't have, I don't want that as a compliment to me because life, especially as an entrepreneur, life is ups and downs. You need somebody that's solid and conscious and knows who they are and is in it for the fight with you. Not, you know what I mean? That's what I'm looking let's, for. Let's, let's dive deeper. Let's dive deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, what's more valuable, her, her mind, her character, or her vagina? Ooh, wee. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I would say her mind. You would say her mind. Because, her mind. because her mind is why she would have character. Okay, I respect that. And her character will dictate what she does with her vagina. Okay. So, so I would say her mind is the most important. You know what I mean? Okay. Because right. I could, I could be with a woman that makes three hundred dollars a week before taxes if her mind is right. We only we, I, after taxes she worth two thirty a week. And I mean, I don't know what we can do with that. But I can work with that. You know what I'm saying? What about you, G? What's most important, mind, character, or vagina? I mean, right there. Yeah, if you know, because women who don't have their mind right, they what they raise kids like this next clip. Cue the next clip of the gang man <laughs> with fingernails, with nails. Okay, we we'll go with the what? The who? The rabbits? The rabbits. Okay, cue the rabbits. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh yeah, to the video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he trying to look like he don't like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he wants some. He wants some. He wanted that. He wants some. Help me off the leg, bro. <laughs> an aboriginal woman or something weird that's not normal. An aboriginal What was shown was the viral video of a lady eating a what looked like a dead rabbit. That looks too disgusting to actually show. So I'm, I edit that out. Um, but in my opinion. A lot of these girls, when you see them doing stuff like that, they do it for the gram, they do it for likes, attention, and everything. So, I don't know. Everything for the likes ain't good, you know? I don't I don't like girls with, with that type of mindset that do everything for social media. Make her do that, man. What's the most exotic food you've ever eaten? I'm going to tell you what will make her do that. I'm going to tell you exactly what will make her do that. Chicks, everybody, it ain't just women. People on social media, they'll do anything Definitely. for the likes, bro, right. for the views. That right. shit is all yes. about attention. Yeah. That's yeah. all that comes down to. She needs to get a fucking life together. Get your life together. You rabbit eating bitch. Wrong kill eating bitch. You rabbit eating bitch. You backyard rabbit. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You possum eating bitch. Truck stop pushing <laughs> selling <laughs> bitch. <laughs> she from wherever Providence Star got the hit band from. Oh. 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 Oh
but I, I always have, have this desire to try out exotic food. So probably when I start traveling and going different places, I'll be able to try new things, you know? I say turtle soup. Uh oh, you ain't turtle soup. That's I gross. Split a little spoonful. You was dating Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> I was in New Orleans. Oh. And in New Orleans, you know, they get down. And you, if you, if they oh, serve you turtle it. soup, you gotta at least take a little slip a sip of it. Ooh. Really? Oh, that was good. <laughs> it like, well, it was either that or like some alligator or something. I've had fried gator alligator. from from Papa Do's. Oh, Papa Do's. Oh, I, I, I had that. That's what I had. The fried gator. Yeah, fried. I had that. Yep. <laughs> Mine should be the same answer then. Yeah, fried gator. Yeah. Well, I can't do it. I was saying I had some gator tacos in North. Really? In North. What? In, North. what? Yeah. in California? Oh, Ain't no gator with When they get gators, I know. That's what I'm saying. How you going to get off it? I don't need to freeze. Got out the microwave. That nigga was 11. That's crazy. What you do, Dewan? You uh, candy the possum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you candy the possum? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, <man. laughs> oh, What's the most exotic shit y'all that? Gator for me. Gator? Uh, man, I'm simple, man. I'd probably say, like, lamb. I can't mess with all that shit, man. Yeah. Goat, all that shit, I'm not fucking with it, bro. Oh, yeah, you I know, that. Curry goat, homie. Curry goat is the Hell yeah. Curry goat's the most exotic thing, Yuri? Yeah, it's about as far as I'm going to go with it. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> man, that's what I'm saying. I guess what I used to eat meat, octopus. Oh, I have an octopus. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Octopus ain't bad. Yeah, That's nasty. Yeah. Alright, this next clip we gonna go to uh we got the gangbanger and the nails or no, you can't find that? Tell me what y'all think about this here. Banger and the nails. <laughs> and action. <laughs> <laughs> and hit it. <laughs> and run it. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they been roasting for sure. <laughs> for sure. You got some nerves. Yeah, I love it. The nerve of you, people. Out there, nation. All right, if that Caviar. clip ain't working, let's go to the next one. If that one ain't shark. working, shark. Somebody needs shark. Yep. Shark. I haven't had shark. I heard they don't sell it. Yeah. Shark is cool. Hey, snake? Swordfish? Right. I never had snake. <clears throat> snake? No. Tell me what y'all think about this. What the oh. Fuck? Oh, this is a dude? Oh, no. I think that That's he the... probably did something in jail for sure. Man. <laughs> Vampire in Brooklyn. Like, this is the season. Yeah. 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 Dove Seed, Lady Rage Mix. Dove Seed. Dove Seed. I don't know. No real gangster that would put nails on them and consider himself a thug. Call me wrong, but no, I don't. I don't know what, who would claim this dude. I don't know. Mm -mm. Who's gonna claim this dude, man? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, obviously he's a crip. Yeah. Oh wow. That's a nice blue though. Yeah. No, <laughs> You can't throw up your gang size oh, with fingernails, wow. bro. Leave that nigga. Yeah, oh, wow. Who is this, sultry cuz? If you get in a fight with him, you better win the fight. Because if yeah, not, cause he going to take it from you. Yeah, he going to do something else. He got the extra. He's going to change your life. I'm going to scratch your eyes out. He's going to try to How fuck you. Cut it. We're back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Ready? That's not <laughs> Nobody's going to start. They said you kept asking for the clip. Nobody's gonna follow All right, that trick. We're good. You got some thick ass fingers too. Yeah. yeah. Fingers look like snicker bars. What if their whole crew had that? He That's doing. crazy. That's, yeah. Boy, he's a foodie. real, he's a gay stir. If you gangbang and then you found out that was the leader after you get put on, would you stay from that hood? Uh, but, I mean, you gotta resign. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta jump the leader out? Uh, is, is that a real thing? Nah, yeah, nah. What the hell happened? <laughs> I just like having amnesia after that shit. Uh, no, but for real, put, put me up on game. Put me up on game. Is that a real thing? Can you stomp the leader out? I don't know, but I don't know if you can. I ain't never seen no leader do that. <laughs> <laughs> he, 
he, he snapped. Because they, cause they don't matter what Italian families like or whatever, like they'll take out whoever the boss is right. if right. they need be. Right. So I'm, I wonder if you can do that. Oh. Well, he might want you to take him out. <laughs> yeah, 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 please. Yeah, take me out. Yeah! I don't understand what do you do with that? Like you can't shoot a gun with nails like that, you can't roll a blunt with what you know what I mean? Are you in the game? You know maybe I mean? his maybe his secret weapon, maybe he gets he's, he's the eye gouges motherfucker. Right. Maybe, maybe he's nah, maybe he got to go to nah. <laughs> in the business. That's his specialty. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be in a gang with diva cubs. Right. <laughs> cuticle cubs. Cuticle cubs. Cuticle cubs. Cuticle cubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Incredible. That's right. <laughs> the streets is over. <laughs> yeah, the streets is over. The streets is over. That is that unacceptable. Was cool. That was cool. But you know what? <laughs> that is good. Go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, like people like um, Tyler the Creator. You know, he wears, he got like nail polish. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. I, you know, he's a musician. Cool. Prince wore his ass cheeks out. That's what musicians do weird <laughs> stuff. You the gangster dude right, with, right. with Lee Press on? But he was rapping. He wasn't rapping though, huh? He, maybe he rapped. <laughs> oh yeah, that's was true. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that was a cool. 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 That was a that nigga point that nigga oh, that nigga man. point at you when he asked you where you from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was Doug C. Uh, uh, where are you uh, from? <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> you get you get in a fight. You get in a fight with that nigga, you getting your booty squeezed on yeah. your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How do you find yourself in a situation to get into a fight? Yeah, I'm talking about the fighting now. Yep, exactly. And with that said, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Craig, uh, Big Head Craig, the sitcom. Check out the sitcom. It's called Big Head Craig. You can view it on Patreon, starring me and a bunch of my boys, man. If I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God. Cue that Big Head Craig. Hey. <laughs> go Craig. Go Craig. Can they still hear us? Yes, we cool. Can. Want to use the restroom or take a break? They need to. So why would it be illegal to sell a Gadoji berry? You're right. It'd be illegal to give a guy blue balls, but you didn't do that, dude. So we're good. Yeah, I, exactly like he said. Ugh. We're we're good. You know, we're, we're good. We're gonna beat this. We're gonna beat it. You have the ability to go back to life as you know it. Starting tomorrow, you don't just have a shot. You have a surefire bullseye. That's what I like to hear. Why would somebody go to jail over selling a Gadoji berry? Do you know what I mean? Is yeah. it illegal to eat berries? I think yeah. not. Is it illegal to sell whatever you want to sell? I mean, I, you know, I, I know I said things that they could do that, that they may not possibly be able to do, but there are good things that this berry does. They, they, there's oxidants. They oxidate in the body. They, I mean, they bring oxygen. You are a capitalist, all right? You're a capitalist. You're Ben Franklin with a rat tail. This table is going to get you out of here. Oh, okay. Chest bump you so hard. Listen, no, you're an incredible asset to this company, I but I need that. you to just be be be, be more, like I'm a more little of a bit boob. more on the on the quiet side. More of a boob guy. Right but yeah, I'm down. Just be a little bit more on the quiet side cool. and we're going to be good. We got this, dude. He's, My dad owns this corporation. His dad actually does own the court. So, and you got me. Does it look like there's any nervousness in there? No, nah, you don't look nervous at all. No. Matter of fact, you're calming me down. I'm, I'm yeah. calm, man. Take some of it. Just take some. Okay. I want you to picture that you're driving through the park. There's a little bit of a speed bump, okay? That's what happens. You gotta go a little slow, but then you get back on the freeway and you start gunning it again, okay? Right, right. This court case is a little bitty speed bump, mm -hmm. all right? But you're gonna get out of the non-speeding zone and you're gonna be back on the freeway in no time. Dude, we got this, all right? Yeah. I'm a professional dude, and I got this, and you got this, and you got this. We all got this, dude. Rocks is, he in, is he intoxicated? Craig is going to lose this case. He's not going to win, trust me. So, yeah, he, he, he's, he's probably been drinking, but don't worry about him. By the time we get to the court, he's going to be very, very relaxed. He's going to be sedated. And he, this works. What you guys this have has worked His before. His dad actually owns this courtroom, which is crazy. That's why, even though he's kind of a burnout, he's doing us a favor by being here with us. The judge is going to see him, and he's going to say, it's almost like a subtle nod. Eight years! What? Eight years? 
Dude, he's like 23. He's not eight, you stupid judge, dude. Stupid. Court adjourned. Hey, you, your Honor, this is my first case, okay? If you do this to me, I'm gonna be moving back in with my mother, okay? And I haven't had sex in four years, and when I got this case, Your Honor, I had sex for the first time. It was a prostitute, but, but, I still had the confidence to initiate a conversation with her. Phyllis! He can be a good representative for black Americans everywhere. I've seen the Godoji Berry Farm, and it is something to die for. Your Honor, we can take you on a free ride there. This is a party foul, dude! This judge is a big party fire. Do, do you even go to parties like? Get him out my courtroom, court adjourned. Eight years. You're a, out my face. You're a fucking. I'm kid. not eight years Shut old up. either. I'm gonna fucking kill you, okay? I'm gonna fucking slit your throat, and I'm gonna cut out your insides, and I'm gonna stick them inside of a pinata. It was an episode of my sitcom, Big Head Craig. Subscribe to my Patreon, YouTube, and Facebook. This next section, man, one of the dearest, one of my favorite artists, Kanye West. There's a video going around of him supposedly buying back, or after he bought back, all the sex tape footage from Ray J of Kim. So there's- yeah, her mom so Okay, so supposedly there was some more footage that wasn't out, and Kim, uh, in this video, she says that, oh, there was nothing sexual on this, this is just us going out to dinner and a bunch of family, uh, you know, stuff that we were doing at the time, and I wanted the footage because it was precious. That reaction didn't say that. Right. No. <laughs> that reaction said there was a lot of pressure. His foot is a her in Dubai getting shitted on, on in, the, in, that, in that hard drive. And that's before she was Kim Kim. Right, right. This is wow. when she was still trying to figure out how much her coochie was worth. You know what I mean? Wow. So she probably did some ungodly things on that hard drive. Plus, wow. if it was the footage that she said, he wouldn't have been dressed like the boogeyman when he came out. Right. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. The boogeyman. The boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I didn't even know that was Kanye. Right. With all his lips, I didn't even know that was Kanye. That was Martin. That was Martin. Why Kanye? That wasn't Kanye. Deliver the package. Deliver the package. Deliver the package. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Oh, yeah. That wasn't Kanye. The question, Kanye. Is, that was question Kanye. is, fellas, if your wife had a sex tape out there with an ex, would you buy it back for her? If she wanted me to. Yeah. But I'll be like, it's, it's like he said, it's pointless now. It's out. And, and, and somebody's got that shit. She wouldn't be my wife. Really? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Not that public. What if you found out while you was married? I, I, I yeah. We, we definitely should. You want to get a divorce? Yeah. 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 It fuck that bitch. Yeah. Man. <laughs> 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 it was before you. You got to tell me this shit. Uh, That's you right. see what I'm saying? All times you got to say, I fuck a uh, U.S. celebrity. And you listen. I fuck with Ray J. But I'm saying you gotta, you gotta let me know, like, yo, I slept with somebody, there was a sex tape, and then from there I would even say, okay, either I wanna continue being with this person that did this foolishness, or I don't wanna be with this person. Uh, you know how many sex tapes I got out there with that. Uh, you know? I got a gang of them. I'm going down there with all of them. Is that right? Yeah. All right, especially yeah. when you was young. Okay, yeah, yeah for sure. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm low-key scared. I'm getting real, real big. And like, just, well, see, I told my homeboy that because one of my homeboys was smashing all on camera, showing his face and shit. Like, right, right, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm like, you trying to be in yeah. entertainment. Like, yeah. what's going to happen five, six <laughs> years from now if your career pop and now it's a bunch of videos out there? Right. You know what I'm saying? You getting your ass ate. Right, right. <laughs> 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 freestyling, <laughs> freestyling with a tiny hat. Well, there. What's going on, bro? There's video of Todd uh, <laughs> and a nigga holding hands while they fuck a bitch. Say that. <laughs> 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 <They> hold it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, no, okay, it, Paris. It was Paris. <laughs> it's so oh, all right. Are there sex tapes of you out there? Oh no. Okay. If there was next, next question. Ah! Get to the next question. <laughs> okay. No <problem. laughs> if if there was, would you want your husband to go buy it back from the guy? Okay. Um. Mm, I'm 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 okay with first. Wait, wait. First of all, first question. 
is I know. I know those. All right. Somebody get the tape back. You know, thankfully, the men that I've been with and may may or may not have something on me, I've been respectful. And I think I think I'm okay. Is there audio? There might be audio. I want to say everybody has made a sex tape, though, right? Everybody has. Yeah, everybody done made one. Right. But you yeah. just don't want to I made a sex that. movie, not yeah. a tape. <laughs> I wrote a script and everything. It's failed. You got a it's failed. Film. You have rehearsals and credits. You have blocking. You have blocking. I heard acting coach. It's, it's, Craig, it's, it's Craig out there with the homie playing butt naked freeze tag. <laughs> but Kanye married Queen Sex Tape. So what are you hiding? That's how right. we got introduced to her. Well, she got flipped around the industry, you know, right. did more cartwheels than an Olympian, you know what yeah. I mean? So it is what it is. So what the, I don't know what the point is. We know who she is, brother. Right. Let it be. Yeah. You got a sex tape out there? Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. I ain't got one. <laughs> it come on the cooking channel. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga snore. That nigga snore doing snacks. You got, you got sex apnea. <laughs> sex apnea. Sex apnea. I'm not taking nothing from Black Zorro and Donatello over here. <laughs> Dark wing duckling. Oh, <laughs> hey snaps, is it, is it a sex tape out there of you? Nah, you keep them on your phone, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're the guy, you keep them yourself. You feel what I'm saying? You don't, you don't put them out there. Right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you plow. You plow. You plow. You plow. You hold a sex tape of y'all? You don't hold y'all? Yeah. You, 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 I don't have no sex tapes. If you did it, you wouldn't have, you, you would let her hold it or would you keep it? No, I would have to hold on to that. Okay. Keep that. I'm stronger, so she has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> so take it. <laughs> this next clip is of, is of a person, the baby, who's turning out to be one of my favorite artists, right? Because the, I'm, I'm going to be honest. The baby, if you think of a street nigga rapping that made it, yeah. this is how he would really be acting. <laughs> The baby tolerates no disrespect. <laughs> and, I, and I love that about him. Because I don't feel like he's trying to be tough. I don't feel like he's putting on a show. You understand what I'm saying? He's just doing what a real street nigga would do if they made it. But he seems to have a little bit of sense about himself. Check out the clip. Man. It's a new, <laughs> it's a new clip. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. 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 She oh, fucking say... shoved me on the ground. But he called them niggas for real? He was saying the N-word, saying some very racially charged things. I'm sure the specific details why, but hey, I, look, man, <laughs> I don't tolerate racism from nobody. Yeah. These are jokes. Short yeah, short 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 jokes. Wow. The fight that's against that's racism that's rages that's on. That's, uh, that's my second favorite cake. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never be the same. Yeah, no. But the fortunate thing about racism is most ignorant, poor white people, they don't really understand it. So it's it's almost like it's almost like watching uh, it's almost like watching white people celebrate Kwanzaa in Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that was just flat out disrespectful. When you come to someone and they're doing what they do, and you call them outside of their name, something that their mom didn't name them, and you're being aggressive towards them, that's just flat out disrespect. And your age and your color don't give you a pass to disrespect somebody. So when you get just a life thing, when you get when you get disrespectful. You never know what's gonna come back. You might get whooped in a whip, and that's what happens. Who said that? Whooped in a whip. There are fortunate things about racism, though. Look, the fortunate thing about ignorance is you get a chance to gauge where somebody is mentally. I, I, I bring on that type of shit because at least I know what I'm dealing with. The worst type of racist or prejudiced person is a person who acts like they fuck with you, but they really don't. Yeah, they're the most dangerous. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sneaky. Whatever would make this old white man go to a video shoot with a bunch of gangster rappers and call him a nigger, you got to respect that. <laughs> That's a fact. Because he could have did it through the mail, he could have did it over the fire. <laughs> he could have did it from over the fence. That nigga walked into the middle of the video. 
Yeah. You know what? I'm so dancing. Now let you no know how disrespectful them niggas was being. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he, he was so fed up. He was like, this shit has to stop. <laughs> <laughs> the noise decibel in this fucking neighborhood is ridiculous. So that lets you know they was they was probably on some disrespectful I, shit. I, I respect the brother that pushed him over. I respect him more if he gave him like a whole poke and elbow drop. Uh, oh. But we talked about it earlier. That is probably a decision-making fatigue. Mm-hmm. A bunch of way out shit probably happened to this whole white man all day, and he ran out of marbles <laughs> and 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 got his ass whooped. You know what I mean? But he had no fear. That's the other thing. You know what I mean? That's the crazy part. Like, do all racism come with with like boldness or something? Oh, no, you know what I mean? Like, he, oh, yeah. he, he, he was, I don't see nobody with like no backup. I don't see Wait. no aunties, no nephews, they nothing with that old nigga. Yeah. But whose property was that? That was his yeah. property. Oh. It might have been his property. Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. 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 This yeah. yeah. shit is a wrap. He had a maximum amount of people he's supposed to have on the property, and he had like way more than that. But yeah, no, he's bold because he has a whole police behind. Him, yeah, yeah, and, exactly. a, and the whole legal system behind it. If, yeah, if, if, if any of them yeah. niggas step out of line, nigga, I got a judge, I got some police right. officers, and the LAPD gonna be ready for that. They be like, let's go, let's All go. Right. Yeah. I got hit with, I got hit with the weirdest racism, man. I was uh, dropping my daughter off at school, elementary school, and I was walking back out on a basketball jersey. It's a little white kid walking with his mom. Said, mom, it's a real basketball player. So I felt bad that I accepted that because I always wanted to be a basketball player. Yeah. So at that moment, I made it. <laughs> Yeah. That was a dumb kid. Yeah. Oh, you were bad. I, hey, I, I took it. That was fucking. Like school is the blind. That's, that. <laughs> That's the closest I'm ever going to get to the NBA, so I'm taking that one. Fuck y'all. If the kid said this is a real hamster, I'd have been like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a thong on? <laughs> Basketball. All right. This next clip is shocking. A man takes his leg off. And dances with it inside of a club. Excuse Check me? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, wow. I love it. Yo, that. incredible. Yeah. Shout Paris. out to Paris. Like Paris was about to say, when you see that type of confidence, you got to respect that, bro, because this confidence is high to be able to do that. You know? That's really good. You know, if you have high confidence, that's. That would make a person attractive to a lot of people, just high confidence and everything. That, but see, leave it to black people. We know how to take the worst of something and oh, make it true. something and turn it Talk into about something. It. And mm-hmm. that's what we do. And so you see the whole, everybody's all into yeah, that. So yeah. I, when I see that, I, I like him. Could I like you, that man. I might you, date him. You could date a man with a prostate. Like oh, that one, maybe. You date okay. him? Okay. That okay. one with that confidence, taking so that leg off, because I know he can dance, maybe. and I like, you, dance. Can, I like to dance. I like to be out. Would you kiss the nub like this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the nub. She, oh, she would. Give she me would. some time to. Give her some time. You know. <laughs> 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 Get yeah, to know the nub. I do it. Get to know the nub. The only thing that would have made that video better. If they were playing, walk it out. If they were to put one leg up in the air and then they spun him on his nub and just turned him, <laughs> that would have been pretty dope. Yeah, I ain't impressed. I would have been, if he did the kid and play, oh. Oh. I would have been impressed then. But. We need new references. They would, 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 they would. If you did the howdy duty. <laughs> I still do the kid play though. You can play with my man. These young motherfuckers don't know who kid no, play is. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, it came back out. They got a new. They got a whole new. Uh, what they making right now? They only about six months. Yeah. Got a new kid, uh, house party yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I read for it. I didn't get the part. Oh, yeah. you don't I, mean, I read for it too. Actually, yeah, I read for it too. You, you gonna be kid? You gonna be kid? No, they wanted me to play one of the bullies. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you didn't make it. No, you ain't bullying nobody. I would have murdered that role, man. Let's see it. You ever see me stuff, Craig? Talent. We might like smell like pussy to a bunch of dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got See, this is my thing with that. It's rare that something is as good as the original. Yeah. Truck. Yeah. So you know, like, so it might it might be a blessing in disguise. That, that's one of those movies where if they cast it right, it could it could be ridiculous. 
Oh, oh, well, the writers that wrote it is uh, Stephen Glover. That's oh. uh, Donald Glover, brother. The same people that oh, wrote it uh, yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah. So the script, is, the script is good from what I read. Yeah, come get me, Steve. I'm telling you, yeah, man. Yeah, come man. fuck with me, Don't man. I'm bringing that? something to the table that ain't out there. <laughs> that's that's right. Jamal or Jamal O'Lara. I think that's the other dude. Jamal, Jamal okay. <laughs> bro, yeah, but that's who wrote, that's who wrote on Atlanta. <laughs> so yeah, it should be good. Well, Atlanta's a dope-ass TV show, man. We've got shows in here. All right, this next clip we got, man. I know, I said that finally. I was waiting on somebody to say that. <laughs> uh, I had to say that. My bad to say that. Think of you like Rick James. Uh -huh. Old man pays the price for messing with a wild Jaguar. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Why would no, you? Yeah. Well, what happened? Wild ass dog. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think we all got chased by King. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, there's always a pit bull named King on the block. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's one named King that could chase me on 58th Street. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I know you yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's being funny. <laughs> <laughs> Adrenaline is well, And yes. he was running and, and throwing bouillon cubes out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next clip. Uh, hey, Shorty tried giving a lap dance. Tell us the appropriate procedures uh, when sitting in chair. So look, when you a fat person like me, you got to check the tensile strength. Every, what? Every, every stage you get on, every chair you sit in, you can't just sit down in any plastic chair or willy nilly and you fat. Yeah. You're different than these skinny niggas. Accept it. Right, right. Like, accept your fatness. You can't do that. Hey, yeah. Tensile yeah. strength. Tensile yes. strength. Tensile strength. What's your tensile? <laughs> no, tensile strength. That's like when, when you like, when you, with the, the strength of something, like the. The people who build shit, the masons and stuff that build stuff, you gotta take the tensile strength, like of a cord. <laughs> <laughs> and it tells you if you can pick up a thousand pounds or a hundred pounds. There we go. Look it up. I'm high. I can't give you the exact definition, people. He sound like he sound like a dad that's fucking up his kids' homework. Yeah. <laughs> tensile, tensile. tensile. Tensile strength. Check it out. Gender reveal goes bad. Look at this father's reaction to having a girl. <laughs> Craig Sacker. Yeah, visible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ready? Oh, one, two, three. Oh, three. Oh, 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 Go ahead and divorce that dude now, man. Well, really, the person yeah. with the phone. Yeah, the person with the phone. Was he was. He was doing too much. Well, he would just bounce right into it. It's not even your day, homie. Right. <laughs> I don't like gender. It, it, it might be yeah. bad. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It might be. You never know. No that father that wants to be the smallest person in his family. <laughs> no, that's, that's in the future. Yeah. He's smaller than his girl. Would you date a man that's way littler than you? No. Really? How much? What's the Wait smallest guy you would date? Uh, let's see. Because I'm five nine. Okay. okay. There we go. I'm tall. Go ahead, stand yeah. up. Yeah. You stand up too. Oh, 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 challenge, oh, challenge. You too. You Ch too. Oh, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Hey, but yeah, take no, your yeah. shoes off, though. Take right. Uh, She's okay, okay. humiliating you, guys. Tippy toes. All I need is Prince heels. If I got Prince heels on, so, what, what else are the ass Yeah, yeah I, was, wall I could time. do that height. No, oh, get back up, man. Yeah. She said you're yeah. 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 small. Yeah. Yeah. She said it's not that big. She said it's that bad. Hey, that, that as long as everything lined up in the middle. That's, oh. that's, that's right. true. That's right. That's true. Which is that's dope. This I used to like being short because my my head came right to the titties. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I don't like gender reveals. I don't like I don't it. like it's stupid. I don't like it. They, they seem fun. I don't, I don't think like men it. should be that concerned with, you know, I think that's for the, for the women, man. What y'all think? With the sex of your child? Agreed. I think it's for the doctor's office. 
Nah, but I'm talking about poking the balloon yeah, and doing all that. You already got a baby shower. Is that is that the same thing as a baby shower? I, no, yeah, it's different. That, it's different. And I think men that go to gender reveals are confused about their own gender. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Y'all want to know? Y'all having a boy? You know what? Oh, you walking out. You walking out. I'm going to ask the doctor. Look. When a man find out what to say, he get smoke. Go smoke a cigar and sit your ass down. There we go. <laughs> so a pregnancy is a woman's time to shine. Yeah. Sit yeah. your goof yeah. ass down, nigga. Don't be wearing matching clothes. This is why I date you. I'm not gonna let you disrespect me like this. I date you, okay? Y'all niggas is tough. Y'all niggas don't even want to pop the balloon at the gender event. Hell no. And pink dust pop the balloon too. Up. Up. It was yeah. Oh, it was oh, like, man, man. It, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> you're making the sound. Right, boy. Boy. <laughs> they be having one with the baseball. You hit the hit the ball and then and then it pop and turn the you color. You saw last year what happened. Last year was a gender reveal. Someone like used a gun to like uh, oh, blow up a, no. a pink thing and then started a forest fire. Oh yeah. Oh y'all saw that one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did y'all see the wrestling one? That was fine. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That, that came was, down. Was yeah. Did one, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was two they dudes. One had on pink. One had on blue. And they did a whole wrestling match, and then when the dude pinned him, you know what I mean? The, yeah, the, the sure balloon busted. Oh, yeah, oh, nigga did a finisher, and one motherfucker kicked out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Got the one, two, and then kicked out. Crowd went crazy. Oh, yeah. 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 Those kind of theatrics to find out what the baby was. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Oh, man, that was dope. That was the, the Royal Rumble. Right. So that's, yeah. a, that's a whole nother, that's something else other than the, than the uh, what you call it? The, the baby, baby shower? shower? It's a whole nother thing? Yeah. So what do you do there? You just show up and... Well, that's the gifts. That's what you're doing. That's the gifts and stuff. But ain't the oh. baby shower the gift time? No, that's what I'm saying. The baby shower is the gift. The yeah. gift reveal is the reveal. Is it, yeah. what, what kind of baby you have? So what, what I'm what saying they should do is a father reveal. <laughs> 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 this is what we make sure this is my baby, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Test results in the balloon to bust that, bitch. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bust some test results. Man. I don't want to know what you're doing. I'm not bust for sure it's mine. Bust the test results. <laughs> and we're talking. Bust some test results, bitch. That's when we can have a party. <laughs> I find parents that need that much attention, gender reveal, shower, look at me, look at me. Those be the worst parents. Like they kids, they, those be the kids that their parents be. They they don't spend no time with their kids and everything. It's all about me, man. It, pay attention to your goddamn kids. Don't have no damn gender gender reveal. Go tutor them, motherfucker. What are some the more constructive yet? things that they could put a, in a balloon and bust to reveal besides the gender of the damn baby? Tax. Tax. You said destructive. What's more constructive? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this means it's taxes. Put taxes, taxes. taxes in there. Put them on and give everybody after the motherfucker. I'm making it constructive. Oh, constructive. Constructive behavior. Condoms. Condoms. Is <laughs> that <laughs> right? Some money. <laughs> money. <laughs> money. Yeah. Bust a, 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 a gravy balloon for Dewan. <laughs> <laughs> Bust something else, yeah. man. Time to ask for wax at all, at all the gender reveals. You said give me a wax. Cook a <laughs> <laughs> Give me a wax. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do a gender reveal for, for your, when you no, have a baby? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, fine. no. Save fine. the money. Save it? Yeah. You got to feed the people. And, you know, you got to, you know, oh, money. that's, that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah, all that money. Yeah, money. And that, that's just too much. Proposal going wrong. Women proposes to her yeah. boyfriend of 10 years and gets left by the, for the side chick. Check it out. Oh, Whoa. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I know. Right. What oh, she looking at? Right. Right. Oh, 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 you got it. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, Blue. Come on, Blue. We getting out of here, Blue. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck wrong with you. Look at Pop. Right. Right. Yeah, fuck him up. Is that Pop? It gotta be. I was thinking to a Pop. Yo, look how she looking at her, though. Look at the blue. Look how she looking at her. Blue is nasty. This shit got me crazy. Yeah, that was crucial. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God. Oh, she grabbed it. She must. I'm like, we'll get turned down, but that's cold. That's cold. That's easy. Yeah, that's horrible. She was cute. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, Pops still doing too much talking. You should have hit him right. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's trying to get out the door with Blue. Right. Pops though, he ain't got the strength. Right. Looks, <laughs> he looks, Ten years old. Yeah, looks like yeah. real emotion. He's like, man, I don't think Pops was in. I don't think Pops was in on the joke, but I think that shit was set up, bro. It's, it looked like a setup. Because who go pan to get her goddamn reaction? It was too much camera work. They so, oh, right, 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 right. That was too perfect. <laughs> Since when did looking like a young TD Jakes get you bad bitches? That ain't never been. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, would you ever propose to a man? Don't even ask me that. No. Really? Why not? No. I just, there's, no, it's just not right, I don't think. She old fashioned? Yeah, old mm -hmm. fashioned. Wow. Hey. Uh, if your wife proposed to you, would you be married to her? I'd probably have kicked her the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems weird. It's just weird. I don't know. I can't get into it. I'm an alpha male, bro. That seems weird to me if you're an alpha male for your woman to be proposing. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, should I wear a skirt that day, too? <laughs> and how, how do you say yes? You know right. what I'm saying? Like they're like, oh my God, yes! Like so. Yeah, I take it. Maybe why not? Does a man do this? Right. That's crazy. She get to say, "I chose you." Well, they chose us anyway. That's yeah. what's that's what's hypocritical about this. Every man knows that they woman chose them. As men, we hunt every day. And we get turned down way more than we get yeses. Well, not that he's famous. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Justin, go ahead. Well, this is what I was going to say. The dynamic between men and women. Women control the sex. Men control the relationship. Definitely. You know, like, who's going to get it? A woman, a woman will say, yes, we can have sex. But a man will say, yes, we go together. Right, right. Yeah, the commitment part. Yeah, yeah. the commitment right. part. He's got to make the good. choice to commit. Yeah. Yeah. It, all, it all starts with the acceptance. You know, as men, we get charged up when we're part of things bigger than ourselves. So when a woman deems us worthy and all things line up, it makes us better. So the reason that we lead is because, you know how we think, now we instantly start protecting. This is... It's not that she belongs to me, but I'm going to die for this motherfucker. So now I got to make sure everything is good. You know what I mean? So proposing to me means that you have to die for me. <laughs> <laughs> you kill somebody over your lady? My wife? Yeah. That had my kids, of course. Yeah. Without even thinking about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to make sure I don't <laughs> 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 even think about it. I don't feel safe. Try with a minute. If you found out your wife was cheating on you, would you kill that dude? No. Okay. If she's cheating on me, that's not my wife. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For the streets? In the court of law. In the court of law. I mean, yeah, man, that's a tough one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why marry me then cheat on me? You know what right. I'm saying? That's some yeah. horrific. You know, I cheat because <laughs> <laughs> it's nature. <laughs> it's nature. You know? I'm, I'm the safety, so I can do what I want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> It's not right to cheat. If you fuck your wife, you think cheating? about cheating. Do you, does your husband deserve there, to be able to step out? No. It, well, once you make the commitment, husband and wife, no cheating. I mean, that's what you're signing up for, monogamy. Right. Why would you cheat? Unless you guys, you know, playing and doing some kind of swinger stuff. Right, right, but, right. <laughs> you know, unless you're you doing that, and then this is you get a have your party? fun together, but that doesn't go well. It doesn't end well. Um, what if you were married to a man? He was like, you know what, baby, I love you, and we've been together for a while, and uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I noticed that your pussy's been drier than it normal. Ooh. And when I'm going to do, I know because I know the, the excitement. There's no excitement. I want to stimulate this relationship. So I'm going to allow you to lay down with another man because oh. that's how much I love you. I'm going to give you an opportunity to go out there and get tenderized. Mm. That was, oh, yeah, would you take that? Would you take that offer? That oh my God. Yeah, nice. Shamalan twist. Well, okay, wait. Now, if we're married, I'm going to say, well, do something with yourself, like, right. first. I got bitches already, baby. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>
you. <laughs> oh my God! No, I'm not saying. I'm saying. Have you exhausted all of your options in terms of pleasing me? Have you? You know, make sure he's gonna right. give up and just let me go fuck somebody else. No, I'm not talking about enough. It's dry pussy. Yeah, it's not talking about enough. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's, yeah. it's an <laughs> epidemic. It's an <laughs> epidemic, man. People gotta talk about this, man. You know, because a lot of women be bragging on the pussy. And it's dry. Right. Well, a lot of young ladies are oversexed. Mm. Mm. Talk about it, and they don't talk about it. If you have a new boyfriend every year and a half, you're oversexed. Wow. You know what I found out? I hear a lot of women talk about this rose vibrator. Right. Y'all know, you know, it's breaking vibrator. pussies. It is. Oh, you know about the rose? Bro, look at it. She like, yeah, I got yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> The sex toy business is ruining um, Gucci. Gucci. It's, wow. des- <laughs> it's, it's destroying realistic sexual activity. Well, yeah, and I also read that pornography, social media, That's like true. the That's younger true. generations in their 20s. I was about to post the video just now. I agree with Pat. I mean, why well, I keep saying Pat, I, I agree with Craig. A lot of these sex toys is destroying the the women's and men's um, reproductive system because with the rose, what, I, what I've seen is that the electricity or something magnetic inside of it, it is killing the something it, it is doing something to the women's vagina that is, is affecting the something dealing with the ovaries you love to do some fact check with that but it isn't good that's the point i'm trying to make it isn't good to use i don't know and the thing is with that you are stimulating something in your mind that that is not going to it's like a drug and I don't think you should be overly using that and overly watching pornography because you can get addicted and you and you will not feel the same if, if you have if you sleep with another guy or, or female. So I think that, that message up with a person's sexual pleasures and stuff like that. Whatever. I'm just talking right now. They're not having as much sex as we were having. Shit. Right. You don't think so? Yeah, that's what, that's what they're saying. I heard that though. Like the, they said the virginities distance. are getting lost later in life. Really? Yeah. People like in their 20s right now. Why, why, what's they're not they motivated. They in the metaverse. I mean, they it's, on, they yeah. on It's like. Well, yeah. Remember, when we were younger, our motivation was to get out there and find it. They have it like right here. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know how demotivated you are as soon as you come. You're just like, yeah. all right. I'm I'm that shit. Yeah. Yeah. They've been hitting yeah. porn since yeah. they was 10. We had to wait for HBO. We acted up the I had to find a tape. One time, one time. Go ahead. I had to find a tape and then find a way to rewind it back to where my dad left the shit. Right. Yeah. 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 Respect. I understand women not having sex as much. But you said dudes too? They're, they're saying that the dudes aren't getting as excited because you see all of the crazy shit in porn. Oh. And then you, and you and get somebody real and it's like, she don't want to do all that shit? I think, I think it's because daddies are back. Daddies are around. You know what I mean? Right. More often now than what they were when we was coming up. Man, you know what I mean? Man, a whole league of women playing basketball and bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, look, I'm gonna I'm be honest. With a woman that you care about, the buildup is as important as the sex. Mm-hmm. Especially, yeah. for that, especially for that first sexual experience because that's kind of how you represent yourself. Like, baby, this is what this is going to be about. Yeah. It may not be the greatest, but I'm 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 willing to wait a little bit for the pussy, <laughs> and I'm willing to exhaust all avenues to please you, because this is how much I care. Niggas are fucking off the build up. They trying to hit the pussy two, three days. They they, they trying to get to it immediately. And I personally don't think, if I had to put a, a you know a, the majority being fifty one percent. I don't think that that's good for the majority of people. Maybe 15 percent of people who have the same type of sexual drive can have sex early and stay together. Mm-hmm. But I think you really need to focus on that first experience and build a bond so you consummate something special. You know what I'm saying? Man, shut your ass. Cause you can always have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
we all just said. That nigga's over there about to cry. Just keep buying pussy from other women until she allows you to fuck her. <laughs> all you need is a week with no sex, and it's gonna be the fire sex you ever had with her. Just a week, a week or two. What's the longest uh, you've ever you've ever made a boyfriend wait? The longest I've ever made a boyfriend wait. Sunny. <laughs> in the evening. In the evening. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not used to sharing my personal. So, you know, I know. Uh, if y'all feel comfortable, you know. I don't know. I don't make niggas wait. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Long as I've ever waited uh, was the first time I ever did it. First time I ever did it was I was 12. <laughs> I was 12 years. Wow. You were 12 for real? I was 12, yeah. I was young. God damn. It was older, older, the homie's older sister. She was uh, 19. Eight. Nigga got raped. No, I didn't get raped. That's a toy. I went over there every day to get raped for a whole year. Yeah. Sexual yeah. misconduct. It's misconduct. I said, I'm back. Uh, Richard Bay. Richard Bay and Jenny Jones, and she was stroking Richard me off. Bay. <laughs> Richard Bay. Richard Bay. Sit down. Your homeboy didn't know day. he was banging his sister? No, not at all. He was in denial. What was he doing? I don't know what the Play fuck he was doing. The nigga wasn't there to see him. Yeah, why is that little... <laughs> 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 He was your big yeah. homie. Y'all the same, same age? age? He was a year older than me. Okay, yeah. so he, he in his in his mind, yeah. he ain't thinking like that yet. No. Nah. Uh, and I remember the first time she made me come, I didn't know what was happening. I thought I was about to die. I didn't know what was <laughs> happening. <laughs> the first time you came in, no, that was well, 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 oh, oh, shit, this is build up. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you know, when you die, don't shit come out. Right, when you, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick. <laughs> when you're six, seven, yeah. Blanks. Blanks just Yeah. And then you're trying to kill yourself once you figure it out you can make it happen on your own. You're like, oh, no, yeah. I didn't have, when I first, <laughs> I didn't have some five hour bathroom sessions. Oh, everything. Uh, hey. Huh? Five hours? <laughs> yeah. What you mean? When I was like, shit, like 14, 15, and yeah. you start figuring yourself out, uh, I'd have been in the bathroom for a long You never had yeah. a long ass. Hell yeah. Let me tell you something. I can make myself come in three strokes. Tap, tap, tap. This motherfucker too good. What stroke I need to hit, I know what angle. Oh, man. This motherfucker's a savant. This motherfucker's an amadection. Any women watching, don't forget. About the head, you know, what I'm saying? they be licking all on the yeah. shatter. Fuck all that. All you gotta do is put some gloves in the microwave and put them on, and, and then bam. Gloves in the microwave. What? This nigga's extreme. This nigga's extreme. Warm gloves, you're gonna fall in love with yourself. That's a little rough. Right. Right. jacking off. That's a little rough. Right. Right. On Instagram, Facebook. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, it's uh, Justin Hires. Uh, like, tires, but with an H. Hires. Justin Hires. And, um, yeah, man, I got a podcast myself called Fuck Your Feelings. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man. All right, so it's available everywhere. So, yeah, check that out. Yeah. Follow your boy, G. Wayne TV on TikTok, man. <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Oh, yeah, Black on TV. Yeah. Oh. That's what's up. Uh, at Dewan B on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, D W A N N B, incense and ashtrays dot com. It's man, sunny in the evening. Don't follow me on anything, but hit the like button or whatever you got to do to subscribe to anything that's associated with this. Hey, Uncle Ty Comedy, Facebook, Twitter, <clears throat> IG. Uh, check my comedy album out. It's called I'm Out There. It's got Left Me in Pasadena on there. Taco Tuesday and Headaches and Blame the Bartender. Shout out to the I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. <laughs> Pen Robinsberger on IG, Snaptastic underscore Pen, S S N A P T A S T I K underscore P E N. You think you write all the time? Well, I write more. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Craig Fax is three days a week. Mondays on Caffeine, Tuesdays and Thursdays on The Craig Smith YouTube and Facebook. And also, I'm streaming everywhere. If you download, uh, you can stream me everywhere. Just type in Craig Facts. You can stream me on iTunes or anywhere they have a uh, podcast. And I'm also on the radio every Saturday, 1580K Day. And if I owe you something, yeah. get it from God. That's been this episode. God, God, God! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very interesting, very interesting podcast by Craig. He shared a lot of ideas.
a lot of different things to talk about. And one thing that really ran across my mind is the way that women perceive themselves, the way that a woman should present themselves to be respectable towards not only men, but for themselves. You must be able to to show value. You cannot you cannot actually do things in a way that Kiano and Shangless but want people to show you love and respect. It doesn't go like that. Once you have value in yourself, value will come your way. But other than that, the podcast was very interesting. I really enjoyed it. It it really went it really went kind of quick because I did a lot of edits. But um, if you want to check out the original content, you can check out Craig Facts on YouTube. And like he said earlier, you, you should be able to find it in all the podcasts. You can scream it anywhere. But other than that, it is indeed a pleasure. Until next time, Death Reacts out.